everybody. Out of the dark here for a little change. This is this is place is probably a mile away from where I live. We come up here twice a day with the hounds or the coast. If anyone's seen me walks with the coast. What are you doing lad? This is one of the we've got three windmills in the area and this is one of them all the relics of windmills. We've got actually one in Whitburn village and there's one in a, oh, not far from a little village called Fullwell as well so we're all within like a, say a three mile range and there's a bit of a plaque up here as well and it's just one of our local iconic landmarks there we go what a go glorious day what are you doing what are you doing come on just crept there now and in the distance there, I don't know if you can see very well, but that's the city of Sunderland over there. And there's the coast. So we're not that far from the from the sea. Give that a big kick. <laughs> what? I thought, you know, today is actually brought me sunglasses because I thought the day was going to be not too good. You know, like our, that little heat wave we've had seems to be on the on the wane. Still glorious weather, but I thought it was quite over. But today it looks like it's going to be a, a rather nice day. So yeah, this is Cleden Hills where I come with the dogs, and I just thought because I'm going on my holidays for a week, and before I get to the garden and do some stuff up there, after that I'll uh, I'll take you for a walk. So we're coming up with our first style there now there's only the two and we're just it's two fields we're going to doing like a figure of a eight figure of eight just here so what are you doing this ball comes everywhere <laughs> <laughs> if you saw that come on with come on in these bushes as well i'm not exactly sure you know, exactly where it is but in there there's two and we'll we'll i'll do another day where we'll kind of go out and have a look for them but there's two world war i think the world war ii like bungas you know because like you see the coast there and you know if that invasion was to ever come and there's the dotted all over to be quite honest we've actually got i don't know if you can see right that hill up there there's another one that's really kind of it's almost you can just see the remnants of it but all over this area you know because i guess we were a vulnerable place at one time you know that we've got the the river we are just over there then four miles behind us there, there's the river Tyne. there's big ship building ralph man calm down the little dog's going mad it was a big like ship building area you know i don't know if you can see right he's just what? <laughs> big fella little warrior so yeah there's lots of them you know and we'll do it like a little because there's some quite interesting ones you know there's even stuff from the first world war you know so come on then anyway this walk isn't getting done we're getting to another milestone here another top of the hill what you doing <laughs> anybody want them take them We'll just bend down this corner just up here and you can see the Cleden, what we call Cleden Hills. It's just more like a little valley. There you go, that's the, the view you get from the second field. That ball comes everywhere. Funny enough, it's a new one because he went, we went to the sea the other day with me mum and Dropped it and it drifted too far out. Didn't you, lad? What? Yeah, we're coming to the, the stairs. 
dive, you can if you just find it, figure a vehicle coming out, see if we can get the, the big lad over there. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, go on Roxy. She struggles a little bit. Oh, she's got through there like a wicket. See if I can. <laughs> Yeah, so we're nearly there. We're going to just go around this little hill. This is Killer Hill. That's it there. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I know. But you'll, you'll, hear, you'll hear me. You might see me puffing and panting there. Come on. Nearly home line. well on the top of Killer Hill there is one of those little what, there must have been like little gunnery sites you know like a two-man concrete bunga with a like a little slit of a window and they would protect you know the surrounding areas from the, the German horde <laughs> but it's just really a little kind of dip in the wall at the moment you know but there's a there's quite some unusual World War II things and World War I, like I was mentioning before, so we'll hopefully go around and have a look at them. Right, let's see if we can get up this hill without, without embarrassing us. Ooh, you can feel it. Cuts in. Let's try and do this a couple of times a week. No <laughs> way, twice a day. Go on, big lad. He still wants his ball kick. Oh yes. So we're only about a minute from the car there now as well, so that's good. There we go. Top of the hill. That's where this bunger is. I'll just show you actually what's left of it. Well, see there you go so that's it and like I say the wood you know from that in a vantage point I mean I don't think they would have probably lasted that long if there was ever anything come up the river we are now you see there's there's two in the bushes where we walked that's my brother two in the bushes where we walked before and that one there that I know of and then you get further afield you know like a couple of miles up and down the coast there's all sorts there we go right then back to the car and as you can see here we go down the little path and there's the car we hit and oh, that's kicking the door lad well thanks for coming along anyways I will see you, probably see you back in the garden, look after yourselves. <laughs>